not a fake TV. Hi, my name is Marquise and we're here doing our new show, Straight Outta County. Hey guys, I'm Marquise and this is Straight Outta County. Thank you all so much for continuing to tune into our new show. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on all your notifications. All right, we're here back at Men's County Jail shooting our new show, Straight Outta County. We're here to get interviews with people and see what their experiences are like on the inside of the county jail. Let's see what's up. Look like we got some guys we probably missed a few, right? Let's see if uh, you can. Yeah, let's hustle, let's hustle. Okay? Yeah, yeah. I feel you. Like... Yeah, oh, fuck it. Ain't no, ain't no cops coming right now. Hey, this would be perfect. Get them going to the county. Uh, they're first because they're going to uh, they're probably the train station or something like that. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Come on, listen. No, I said we don't want to run. No, Hey guys, hey you guys just got out. Hey, we're doing a show called Straight Out of County. You mind if we do an interview with it? It ain't even much, just some regular shit. Yeah. How you doing, bro? Hey. Hi, my name's Marquise. All right, Coco, from Venice, Coco. Yeah. All right, man. How long did you do in the county jail? Like seven days. Coco, that's a uh, gopher, right? No, Coco. Oh, Coco. Coco. Okay. All right. C O C O or K O K O. C O C O. All right. Coco from Venice, Pasa, right? Yeah. So how long did you do in the county jail? About seven days. About seven days. How was yeah. it? It was awful, huh? Yeah. But well, I didn't want to sleep. Uh, what did you get arrested for? Uh, for possession. Possession of what? Methamphetamine. Yeah. So yeah. have you been to county jail before? Mm, yeah, yeah, many times. Yeah. Yeah. So um, sorry about that. Yeah, so um, this time around, you have meth possession. You have court case pending still? Yeah, I still got one pending. Yeah, uh, how does that feel to have to still go to court? Well, well uh, I still have to go to court? Yeah. Uh, I ain't worried about it right now, but eventually I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to fucking, uh, I'm going to get it pulled over. The warrant's yeah. going to pop up, you know? So you mean you just going to like, fuck it? Yeah, fuck, court. fuck it. Well, they threw my case out, but I think I still got a case pending in, in, in the county. Yeah. Yeah, for in-house. Yeah. So what's your plan? Is it going back to the hood? Yeah, going back home, back to the hood. Yeah, you getting on the metro here? Yeah, the metro. Yeah, so you got any kind of uh, help getting out there? Yeah, I got, I got a house and shit. No. Like uh, getting home, you got any help getting home right now? No, nah, not right now. Yeah. Probably give you a couple of dollars or something, help you, you know, help you on your way, yeah. uh, get yourself there. But um, just thinking um. Yeah, it gets worse and worse in there. It's getting worse. Yeah. yeah. So what what's been your experience this time? What's what's been worse for you? Uh, what's been worse is that uh, people are getting too uh too violent, They're getting too uh, I mean. You witnessed any fights? Yeah. Fights and shit. Like especially right now when we're getting released, like anxiety, like the anxiety level, the like you know, body like. I mean, yeah, there was like, a lot of tension between the people coming out right now. Yeah, like no patience, fucking everybody's just getting each other's nerves and shit like that. Yeah, there was any like any interesting stories, like anything you want to expound on, let us you know, get a better view because we know with tension, like you know, I can understand, but trying to get a view for the people yeah, so they can, people? yeah, so they can understand what it looks like in there. 
it's for people that haven't seen it. This is straight out of county, you know? Yeah, yeah, straight out of county. People just starving in there, fucking. People, whoever got, got stolen for whatever, they're making a killing out of it, you know what I mean? They fucking make money. People just starving. Yeah, were you able to get any while you were in there? Any, any dope? Yeah. Nah, I wasn't, I wasn't looking for it. Nah, not nah. this time? Nah, not this time. Yeah. People just smoking spice and shit, smoking spice, looking all retarded. You ever think about getting into uh, recovery when you leave here? No, nah, not really. I tried it all. It doesn't really, it doesn't really help much. Best thing is to just get get right on, right on line uh, with what the Bible says. You know. Yeah. How long have you been using uh, the meth that you know that you came to jail for? Off and on, off and on for like, I'll last like three months, five months, and then I'll go, I'll go back into jail. Yeah. Yeah. So you say many times it's been like how many like times in the past time, year? Twenty in the past year. Oh Twice, wow! Yeah, twenty times. And when did you start coming to the county jail? Ninety-eight. Ninety-eight. Yeah. Wow. How old are you now? Forty-one. Oh wow! You look uh, probably younger than that. Yeah. Oh wow! Can okay, you get a camera view? See what the camera so you can see what you look like. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, it. Cool, man. Yeah. Yeah. I've been coming since I was uh, eighteen. Right here. Eighteen. In and out. Yeah. All my life. Half of my life. In prison, jail. Yeah. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Do you want anything better for yourself? Do you want to stop coming from here? Yeah, I do. I, do. Uh, I, got, I got my own place. Where do you, know? you uh, like what part of the city you stay in? In Venice. Yeah, you stay out there? Yeah. You, uh, you frank with the beach? Yeah, right yeah. there, like seven blocks off the beach. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, activity going down there too, especially with the meth too. There's a lot of uh, things going on. I've seen on the news, they have uh, like uh, people blowing up stuff. Uh, somebody got shot out there. It's a lot of uh, things going on. You think that's a lot because of the drugs? Oh yeah, a lot of drugs and uh, a lot of the shit that's going on there is fucking. Uh, it's all controlled. It's all fucking organized, organized uh, crime type fucking like some evil, like some like straight evil shit out, out of the fucking conspiracy books. You know what I mean? Like Illuminati shit. Yeah. yeah uh, can you expound on that? What do you mean? You tra said trafficking kids, fucking um uh they they, they, they uh. uh Harvesting baby blood and shit, you know what I mean? And Venice? Right there, Venice. Uh, like, and like the Freemason who? capital right there. Oh, the Freemasons are doing as you say. Yeah, all them yeah. Okay. What do they do these? What do they hold this rituals? How do you how do you oh, know yeah, about this? All kinds of places. Well I lived around my life so I know when something's wrong, you know what I mean? Yeah. And that shit just got infiltrated fucking so when I got out this time I could just tell like you said, I was like, whoa, you know? Yeah. It's all bad, yeah. Did you ever have any uh, mental health issues? Nah. No. You never go into any place you just use meth? Why do you use meth? For the fuck of it. Yeah, but how did you start? Like, you had to start, start for something, right? Just, yeah, just start drinking alcohol, start fucking hanging out with the homies. Yeah, and that's just what the fast homies do? Life. Yeah, it's just one of the fast, yeah. you know, the fast life. Yeah, for sure. Be on the go. Yeah. Be on the go, man. Yeah. So. From here, how long have you been out of the county jail? Like 30 minutes? Yeah, like 30 minutes. Yeah, yeah like 30 minutes. Yeah. So you plan on going, are you going to go get you some more meth now? You're going to use? Nah. Uh, probably going to get something to eat, get something to drink, get yeah. a drink. Yeah. That sounds like you got your head on right right, right now. And hopefully you can, uh, you can get past that because, you know, that's a beast in itself. You know, um, we don't want that for you. It's ultimately what you want for yourself, you know. Um, yeah. I know the path of recovery is probably not on your mind, like you said, but maybe your own personal recovery, your personal journey, and getting yourself right, so you yeah. don't have to see the inside of this county jail. Yeah. You know, it'd be good, so that way you don't have to be that. Yeah, it's 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 uh, it's ugly in Venice. It's, it's real ugly because uh, all the girls, uh, yeah, it's like like the cops are in on it now. You know what I mean? Like the cops are fucking like corrupt and all that shit. Like they uh. They fucking uh, they try they they pimping out any any girl that lands on the fucking beach, she's getting prostituted. The good way, the bad way, you know what I mean? Yeah. So how do you mean? What do you they mean? Forced into that shit. You know what I mean? With the cops? No, the, the ones that are running the streets. Yeah, you say the cops are doing this? The cops are in on it too. Some of them, some of them are on the payroll. You mean they're just letting it happen? Yeah, they're letting this shit happen. Okay, I get that. I understand they, they, that. They, they, they just want no violence. They are doing some like some punk shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're off for the punk shit, like. Uh, all that violence, like getting down and like gang banging shit, that shit's not even like nah. Now it's just being like on some weak shit, like trafficking kids shit, secret shit. You know what I mean, 
Yeah, well, uh, what kind of... Pimping out bitches, pimping out bitches, all that shit. All that like, like, shit. Like, how do you know about this stuff with the with the kids? Like, where, where do you find because that information? I just, because I just know, because I, I be out there, you know what I mean? Yeah. I understand. Right there on Venice, on the sea. Yeah. I, I know what's up, you know? Yeah. But now it's like coming to the surface. Now it's like... You seeing so like long. missing kids reports and stuff and people from the area? Oh, yeah. Is it so, a lot of that? Since I got out this time, I seen a fucking kid run across the street from me. thought it was a dog. So I wanted to see what it was. Like at 2 in the morning, it's a little girl in a dress with a fucking makeup on. I mean, in between two cars, uh, two cars sitting on the curb. I'm like, hey, what are you doing? You all right? She's like, like where's your mom and dad at? And she just looked around and boom. Bro, about how old she was she ran, like? Homie. Like a she, young kid? She, she crashed down and ran. About how old? Like seven years old. Wow, makeup. Makeup two in the morning. on no shoes at two in the morning, bro. Where where about? Like right, right there right in the hood. Yeah. Seventh and Vernon, yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Crazy, bro. And I was like, well, I already knew some shit like that was going on, but now I've been I was down like eight years. So I got out, like the whole shit changed. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, you went to the pen, huh? So yeah, where, uh, where'd you do your time at in the pen? Uh, Pleasant Valley, out of state, fucking Sentinella. Yeah, how was that? I know it's a different structure up there. Yeah, it's, it's a battle everywhere, you know what I mean? They're like, they battling everywhere, they're trying to mix us up with the, with the PCs, and, yeah. and it's, just, it's just a battle everywhere, bro. Yeah, I understand. They flipping the yards and doing different things. Yeah, there's a lot of shit going on everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's been good. Um, I'm going to help you out with a couple of dollars to help get you on the train or whatever you need to do. Uh, maybe eat some food, whatever you're going to do with it. But, uh, Hopefully you have a, a good journey home and hopefully you don't have to see the inside of the county jail. Yeah. Unfortunately, you've seen it too to many a, times. I was about to get a ride from my bitch, but I, she answered the phone. She was with some other fools. So I was like, man, fuck. So it, it, didn't go out, it didn't turn out that good. Oh, man. But that went bad. That kind of happens all the time <laughs> with her, huh? Yeah, I said, man, fuck this bitch. Yeah, she's kind of always with someone else, huh? Yeah, I was trying to say, fuck that bitch. Go yeah. find me a new one, you know? Yeah. It's all good. All right, man. Uh, all right, can, can you get you looking in the count uh, in the camera say uh my name is coco i'm straight out of the county yeah my name is coco my name is coco i'm straight out of the county yeah all right, all right yeah. thanks man all right. Uh, hey. uh, hey, well we're doing an interview about people straight out of the county <laughs> And we're just trying to get your experiences, you know, maybe uh, a little bit about you and see how you feel about it. What you were here for. Oh, yeah, I'd rather not. Yeah. But thank you. All right, no problem. What's up, bro? How you doing, man? I'm doing pretty good. All right, what's your name, man? My name's Eric. All right, my name's Marquise, and we're doing a show called Straight Outta County. All right. All right, uh, where you from, Eric? I'm from Lancaster. From Lancaster? Yeah. So you got arrested out there? No, nah, actually, I got arrested in Pomona. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, how long you do in the county jail? Only like four months. Four months? I have been. I credit you. Oh, okay. So you already got time already? Yeah, already time. Yeah, what kind of case did you get? Uh, this one was this old case from 2018. It was uh, possession of a Durkin Dagger. So. Uh, what is it? A Durkin Dagger, a fixated blade. Oh, okay. I'm on parole. Yeah. Oh, you're still on parole currently? Yeah, I'm currently on parole. Okay, so how long you been on paperwork? Uh, man, since I was like 16 years old. Yeah, so you haven't been off of paperwork? You've been in the system the whole time? Yeah, just about. Yeah, that sucks, huh? Yeah, it does, man. Yeah, so um, how old are you now? Right now, I'm 28. 28, and since 16, so that's about 12 years. 12 years, yeah. Life, yeah, it's yeah. a minute, man. Have you ever hit the penitentiary? Yeah, I've been to the pen. What pen? I was up there in Wasco, Susanville. Man? Yeah. Those two. How much time did you do in there? I uh, 32 and a half. I only got 32 percent. Lucky enough at the time, we need to go to fire camp, but then it went all bad. We can't really go there no more. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean we can't go there anymore? Uh, there, there's uh, rules. With the whites? Nah, I'm a homie. Oh, you're a homie? Yeah. So the homies can't go now. Southsiders nah, can't. Yeah, we can't go there. Oh yeah. So, uh, who you run with in Lancaster? Where you from? Like, I don't blame him. Yeah. I'm Latin. Hey, just a homie. Just yeah. a homie. Yeah, Under I'm, the structure. I got yeah. you. Mm-hmm. You're Latin? I'm Italian and Mexican and Islander. Okay. Uh, I, I, I get it. I can see it. You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, under here you fall under the structure, under the South Siders, but just like as a homie, not a resident, but a homie. Yeah. You're more active. You, mm-hmm. you, you. I mean, I'm just saying, I, when I go in jail, I, I do what I'm asked to do. Yeah, yeah you with the shit. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. More than just a resident. Yeah. Just, yeah. Then they have Southsiders, Serenios, and you know. Nah, I'm not really gonna break down the politics yeah, on TV, I, me, but well, yeah, I mean. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, you know that, that, was, that, was me. that was me, but yeah, yeah, you know, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, you know, I did some time myself, so this that's is why, right. you know, I come out here and do these interviews. Um, 
I really want to see if uh, you think that you have a chance on staying out. What do you What do you think? Uh, my percentage phase, I believe, on staying out. I mean, if they continue to help us in, in certain ways and uh, people are more acknowledged about the programs they have available to them, then it's easier for us to stay out. I mean, but it's not really a choice within the individual. Yeah, what kind yeah, of programs I mean, do they offer for you? Me, I, I'm about to go hit a parole for everything I, I mean, honestly, I can get housing, mean, whatever, whatever they'll provide for me, I mean, yeah. because I'm, I'm coming in ground zero right now, I mean, so. Yeah. Okay, so I want to ask you this, uh, honestly, like, under the structure, you say uh, you want to get everything that they that they have to provide to you, yeah. right? But being a homie, you're not allowed to go to a fire camp, and that could possibly provide something to you because they educate you there, they feed you better, and then they provide money for you when you come home. Yeah. Uh, freer yeah, well, environment. I was already in fire camp before, I mean, so. Yeah, but it changed because I know the yard, they have the bulldogs yeah, on the yard. Yeah, they're, they're that old 50 50. Yeah, where is it? Uh, you are at Jamestown? Or no, Susanville? I was in Susanville. Susanville? Yeah. Yeah, so you, well, uh, is it just Susanville yard that you can't go to, or is it you can't go to Susanville or Jamestown? I mean, wherever they say I can't go, I can't go. Really. Yeah, whenever you get there, you know, huh? Whenever. Yeah, yeah just, Things yeah, change on a day to day yeah. basis, too. It's like, a, yeah, I know the exactly. pecking order type shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, because it's interesting, because like in Jamestown, they, they were on the yard, though, too, but it was like a limited amount of uh, yeah, bulldog. Yeah, yeah, but now it's probably, the whole thing's probably flipped already, in. Eh? Yeah, uh, can you get a people a view of like what that's like if you was to walk onto one of those yards, what it would be like? Oh, if, if, I, was, if I was to walk on one of those yards, uh, I'd have to get out with them, eh? it's, yeah. it's, 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 it's kind of on site type of thing, eh? Yeah, it's I can't hard. really, can't really wait. I mean, same thing goes down, I mean, just because that's what I believe in. Yeah, it's like once you go in there, you're under a code. You gotta follow the code, right? Yeah, I can't speak upon that. You sure I know that, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's but, a, yeah, but yeah, there's rules you have to follow for sure. Yeah, yeah. that's all. Everyone has a code. Blacks have a code. Whites yeah. have a code. Mexicans have a code. Everybody but you know, got just a code, yeah. yeah, that's it. But um, as far as back to the county jail and your time um right now, uh, do you have a case still? You don't have a case still pending. No, you're done. I'm good on everything. I just got parole. I plan on discharging it. I mean, I plan on entering society as 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 me. Yeah. I'm a normal person, not out there running a muck and thugging right now. I mean, I'm cool. Yeah. I, it's a little too much going on. I, I want to make my wants proud and be the best person I can be right now. I mean, that's right. So, uh, what's your what's your plans like as far as like job wise or something you're gonna you uh, know work? What? I, I just got paperwork right here to go fucking the AJCC in Lancaster. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna hit up every route I can. I mean, I'm pretty sure with the environment opening back up, it's not too hard to find a job if that's what you want to do yeah you mean for sure it's really it really just takes out uh, where your mindset's at i mean as long as they got the available things to help somebody who's a felon you mean yeah. there's who, plenty who has of a strike on their record who has all that i mean uh, those, as long as those outlets stay open i can re-enter society and hopefully have a better life you mean? yeah for sure man and i wish you luck on your journey too and thank, thank you for the interview bro can i get you uh, in the camera and say my name is and i'm straight out of county my name is eric and i'm straight out of county you mean all right thanks eric all right have a good one, bro. Right information that we gonna follow up with you. So I'm about to create a Facebook right now. We need you got a phone number we can yeah, hey, so right where are you here. walking to now? You walking down to the uh, train station? Train station. Trying to find a way to hop up on there. Yeah. So you don't have to go and get yourself on there, no uh, trouble and stuff. You know, I want you to get on your way, bro. Appreciate, appreciate that. Appreciate man. you, man. All right. Get your name one more time. Let's uh, let's head this way while he gets his information. Yeah, man. Yeah, that puts my mind in a different place when I'm looking. I'm like, I'm watching. That being said, oh, let me see this too, really quick. Another week, man. Welcome back. Straight out of county, man. How you guys doing today? All right. So, hey, every week we got we see you guys out here. Uh, what's the deal with the low custody inmates? It's like they're, they're in here for a longer time, but they have a, 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 a certain level of trust to be put outside, right? Well, you have to have some kind of idea how it works. You're out here with them. <laughs> All right, for sure. Thank you, bro. <laughs> Camera shy. It's all right. At least he talked a little bit. A little bit. You know, one of
of them, you know. Yeah. Your Wi-Fi. No, it's not. It's on my AP mode. Currently in AP mode, can't access the internet. Hello. Hello. Oh, it's probably, yeah, probably, yeah, hello. Yeah, I feel like he was lost a little bit. Um, I was trying to keep up the interview with him. He seemed like he wanted to talk a lot about certain things, um, like the, the human trafficking that's going on in this area and everything, and that's good to highlight that. But also, he might be dealing with mental health issues untreated or something like that, um, especially because of the meth, and not even a mite he is. Um, but we don't want to be presumptuous and judge, uh, let you guys judge for yourself, um, based on the interview. Um, but my take is that, you know, uh, he's addicted, highly addicted to this. Um, the break from use is probably very good for him because he's focused on going to go get something to eat and going to go home and stuff. But once in a familiar environment, he might go back to using meth very soon. Um, unfortunately, he might come back, and hopefully not. Yeah, meth use always makes people paranoid, and um, they have a lot of information about things, or have heard a lot of things, uh, and continue to think into it a little bit deeper than what they are. <sighs> Man, uh, seven days isn't enough to detox away from methamphetamine. You know, you need a little more time than seven days to, to clear up your mind but that's a start if he was to continue he would continue to get better his brain would continue to uh develop in better ways i can say at 41 years of age he's uh he still has hope at, at quitting because i don't see him all the way gone but he has to go and do the necessary steps to go get recovery for himself otherwise he's gonna possibly end up back in here or in a worse situation Looks like probation again. Yeah. Yeah. Well, last time I saw this vehicle or a vehicle similar to it pull up, it had some deputies in there with probation vest on, and they were like this, with probation vest, delivering inmates that were arrested from uh, probation violations or whatever, you know, running from different things. So looks like this is the way that they take him in for to go into custody. Hey, bro, how you doing, man? Did you just get out of the county jail? Uh, no, no, no. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, um, probation, man, yeah. That sucks to have to go in there, too, because, you know, after being violated. So, speaker, yeah, speak on what just happened. Yeah, he just went in to turn himself into custody. Well, not to turn himself in. So what we just saw here was this young man being escorted into the county jail. Um, I've never been escorted into the county jail through these doors because I've never violated probation, but I imagine this is the way they do it because we've seen them do this multiple times. Um, he's gonna have to be processed, booked in, and go in. This is a unique take from going from the substation, you know, uh, maybe possibly running from the police or um, getting picked up at your house. You know, he, he might have been picked up at home, but he had to go through probation to be taken in here. There's no telling. <laughs> they are isolated in a way because, you know, when you take a uh, society as a whole they're a unique group of people that use drugs and stuff and uh, they're shunned in some ways and instead of helped and they need help it needs to be addressed there's a lot of mental health issues that go along with that and um maybe they do feel like they are alone maybe they do feel like there's a uh, isolation yeah But me, myself, I've never used that type of drug, you know, so I can't really speak to it. I, I've only been a viewer, you know, yeah. so vicariously.
Well, look, we got another guy. Yeah, Looks like he's coming back. Hey, uh, we're just uh, filming a show called Straight Outta County. I wanted to know if you wanted to do an interview. You're not cool? You don't want to do an interview? You don't need anything except for your story. We just want to hear your story, see what your experience is like in the county jail, see who you are. Uh, maybe you could give some people some advice on what it's like. All right, bro, for sure. He was like disgusted. He didn't want to speak at all, you know, but maybe I could uh, talk to him on the way back. Maybe he might feel a different, you know, when he get down doing what he's doing. Yeah, it has. You know, I can't really uh, approach people and come at them how, you know, like like on a personal level, I'm hosting a show. I'm not, you know, so, you know, I'm going to get that reaction. I can't come at him like my friend sometimes, you know what I mean? Or he's not my friend or, or somebody I would come at like on the street. I, I know how to handle it, but I'm not trying to handle myself like that. I'm not trying to come and be combative, you know, with anybody, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so. We're, we're, we're approaching on him. He didn't want to talk. Yeah, we'll see him. He's coming back. I'm going to help him take phone. All right. Oh, you need a phone call? I ain't trying to get one of those little free phone calls. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, they have people over here giving them out? Yeah, up uh, Inside? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, all right. All right you too, bro. They're giving out free phones inside the county jail. That's good. But, uh, of course, you have to have certain information in order to get it. They look like staff from the rehab, yeah. Yeah. Hey, hi. How are you guys? You guys taking these guys to rehab? Yeah. Yeah, well, what rehab are you guys working for? Can you shout out your rehab? So we can, we're trying to, uh, we're doing a show called Straight Outta County and we oh, just. Cry Help, North Hollywood. Cry Help? Uh, Socorro, right? Uh, not, this but it's cry yes, same. It is. Okay. Our other okay. Thank you. Bless you. All right. Bye. Yeah. Shout out the recovery facilities that's doing their thing. Cause you know, if that guy that we ran into earlier would have ran into a group of people like that, they could possibly be taking him to get him some help. Um, you know, it's unfortunate that some people hit and miss. Just like we hit some interviews and we miss some interviews too. They hit some people in recovery and miss some people. It's a key part of this thing, though, uh, to keep coming back to try to catch the people. There's state-run uh, programs that's inside the county jail that are uh, funded. Uh, GR funds some of these programs. Um, some of these places accept the SSI. They just take, depends on your status, on, on who you are as an individual and what your conditions are, how they can help you. There's... Uh, programs that they have there and people aren't used to a program people are used to running that self-will and for some people that's foreign so that's going to be hard for people to adjust to living on a on a clock you know you got to go to a class for an hour two hours paying attention and focus after using drugs for so long that's hard for some people and some people give up that's why recovery is so special you know and it's a personal thing um because each individual is different and that means the counselors are different so the the level of treatment that they're going to get is different and it's based upon them not a minute ago uh, that's what happened sorry right. you just chart it up a little beforehand next time it, it, it's, it dies fast though it's, yeah. I, I, that's what i'm testing i was like what <laughs> talk about why the cars are marked all that stuff. well so this is a probation vehicle that they use uh, to monitor you know, people in the community. Probation officers, they have an office where you report to in the office. And then uh, they're supposed to meet you in the community once a month on some, uh, some forms of probation. So uh, they come around in their vehicles and they come and uh, check up on them. Sometimes they have people that violate probation. Obviously, they ran into someone who violated probation today they might have uh ran from them or you know came and picked them up at their house their place of work 
um, just in the community and uh, transport them to the county jail to do their sentence. Yeah, this is just one of them. This is one of the uh, popular models that they're using now, I'm, I'm seeing. Um, like, you know, maybe they might've used a Ford Taurus or something back in the day or something like that, but um, he could have pissed dirty. He could have been um, committed a new crime anything, uh, numerous crimes that they can violate you for, any any number of rules. They have a whole book full of them. Pick one. But um, today it's unfortunately that uh, he was transported in to the county jail to have to serve his sentence. Um, it must suck. Oh, uh, yeah, he, he could possibly have to be, have a case pending or have a parole hearing that he has to talk to his parole or probation officer they could uh, let him go, continue on parole or probation, depending on the reports. Um, so that's why it's always good to be an upstanding citizen in the community because they'll write a good report for you and you might be able to get out on your own recognizance. Um, yeah, that's, that's a common term in prison when you get arrested. Sometimes you can get released on OR, your own recognizance. But um, probably not the case today. They, you can look this shit up on YouTube, bro. <laughs> you can do this shit on YouTube. <laughs> What's coming outside of the county jail? Let's see if we can get any guys to talk and give us an interview on what their experiences was like. It looked like they're going to rehab. Hey, how you doing, man? You taking these guys to rehab again? I am. Hey, man, keep on doing the good work, man. Thank you. Hey. Hey, how do you guys feel about going to rehab? Excited. Yeah, you're excited. What's up? What makes you excited about it? We got the street. Yeah, man. How long you been down? Only a couple months. Yeah, what's your name? Dustin. All right, my name's Marquise. We're doing a show called Straight Outta County. What you go in for? Resisting arrest. Resisting arrest? Yeah. Oh, uh, so, like, what, what was the experience like? What was it like? The... In L.A. County. I'm from Orange County. First time in L.A. County. Oh, wow. First time, and then you end up here. They say, uh, come on, pro come on vacation, leave on probation. <laughs> nah, but uh, yeah. So, uh, what did you say? Resisting arrest. Why did they try to arrest you? They said I tried to pull his gun. They said you tried to pull the cop's gun. Yeah. How did you come in contact with the police in the first place? Uh, causing a disturbance at a Starbucks. What kind of disturbance? Like, like I didn't have enough money, and I started arguing with the teller. And they called the police. Yeah. So when I went out front, the police just kind of like grabbed me and. And because, of a, because of an argument and then they were mad and they got aggressive with you yeah. and then they accused you of trying to grab their gun so do you still face the, are you still facing the case no uh they gave me a year program and uh like three months in county so do you think they really think that you were really trying to take his gun or they were just writing that up because i think they just wanted to hold me they just wanted to hold you yeah because my previous uh record. were you high when you uh I was coming down. Yeah, so that's why you started arguing with her and stuff, tripping? Yeah. You don't work? Do you nah, work? Not right now. Yeah, so with this, hopefully you'll uh, be able to get you a job. What kind of work would you like to go into when you get out of here? Labor. Labor? Yeah. You got any experience in that? No. no? How old are you? 32. 32? Yeah. Uh, like, have you worked any jobs recently? Uh -huh. No. Where are you from? Like, where you, what part of the city? Orange County. Orange County? What part? Like, like Santa Ana. Santa Ana? Yeah. Um, that's interesting out there. You got the angels and uh, the stadium out there and all that. Yeah. You, uh, what do you do out there in your city? Like normally, like what's your life like? I paint houses. Paint houses? Yeah. Okay, so that's like your hustle? Yeah. yeah who taught you that? My stepdad. Yeah, came up as a kid. Yeah. That's a good trade. Maybe you could get into that and take that on a whole nother level as a business and uh, move forward, getting some help with the uh, rehab. Salvation Army, yeah. Yeah, so you have to do a year into in rehab? Yeah, so, wow. Um, about this time next year, what's it, we're in May, so about this time next year, we can probably run into you and uh, get some information from you. Um, right, give me a yeah, cigarette. No problem. Hey, hey we got a cigarette, cigarette for you. No, they got me. Oh, okay, okay like cool. You know, I get you hey, yeah, you, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, you yeah, want us to get Instagram some Instagram information for yeah, you so uh, we can give you... Facebook. All right, what's your name? Dustin. Uh-huh. Uh, Nalva, N-A-L. N-A-L. W-A-L, K-U-L. And then... If I can get you to get a, um, I'm Dustin, I'm just straight out of county. Right, cool. Well, you know, you can go I'm straight out of county or going straight to rehab or something, you know, because right. it's so straight out of county. I'm Dustin, I'm straight out of county, I'm going to rehab. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>
Thank you, Greg. All right, guys. Y'all have a good one. How you doing today, sir? All right. He looks like he's on the run. So that's why. I, that's why I spoke to him. He's coming out right you know now. Notice people's motion. People coming downstairs right now. Yeah, you hear that yelling? <laughs> Somebody's yelling. They're happy to be yeah, out. Yeah, <laughs> hey, what's up, my G? All right, not too much, man. My name's Mark Case. I'm doing a show called Straight Out of County. Yeah. Yeah, you just got out. Uh, like a month and a half. Yeah, you just came back to get your property? Yeah, man, I'm looking. I'm looking at Jersey, man. Yeah, yeah, Jersey. I was worried. I was, I'm almost worried I lost it. Yeah, that's dope. What kind of Jersey is that? Dodgers. Dodgers Jersey, that's what you went in with? Yeah. Can, you, can we see it? Check yeah. it out, man. You know they won the World Series and all that, too. Yeah. Just gonna check out. Yeah, check it out. Check it out. I'm glad I was free for that. Yeah. So, how long did you do in the county jail? What's your name again? KP from the East Ivy Project. All right, East Ivy &E. yeah. All right, my name is Marquise, man, and this is Straight Out of County, man. That's dope. Hey, hit the front. Yeah. 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 Oh, hold on. One time. One time. One more time. One more time. I thought it was a camera. I thought it, it, it is a camera. Yeah. One more time. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, man. So uh, when you went in the county jail, what did you go in for? Fucking assault with a deadly weapon. Assault with a deadly weapon. It was a fucking like, fuck, it was a fucking chair. Man. A chair? Yeah, they want to call it a deadly weapon. Yeah, when you hit somebody with it, then they call it a deadly weapon, huh? Yeah. Like yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, what, what kind of uh, do? You, are you still facing the case? No, I'm, I'm, I'm stop thinking. But I'm still on parole and probation. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. So, how long have you been on prob uh, probation and parole? You say you're on probation and parole? You're on both of them? Yeah. So, how did that happen? Okay. I got out on parole and the floor rights. I got out on parole. They put me on probation for that. Yeah. That's crazy. So, you have to report to two different agencies? Um, I don't know. It's the probation, you don't have to go and report? It's summary probation. Oh, okay, okay. Hey. Yeah, so you're on summary probation. That's uh... Bro, this, you know, this is yeah. Camera. The homie gave me his possession with it last night. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. So, uh, where are you staying with? What's your current situation I'm, since you've been I'm, out, I'm, out of the I'm county? I'm born and raised out of Long Beach. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, um, I'm saying, like, what's been your situation, like, since you've uh, been out? Like, you've been... Uh, I like that. Yeah, that's nice right there, too. Yeah, I'm gonna me. Your yeah, homie gave it to you last night, huh? Yeah. That's I was right. I talking about how I was cold, right? Yeah. Like, I was, cause I fucking got lost on the way to the hill, bro. Cause I was drinking and... Yeah. So I guess I'm doing better. So, so you're homeless dog. right now? Hmm? You're homeless now? Yeah. You, gotta, you know, I was ready to go back, so I gotta take transit. You know? Yeah. But, um... Always ready to go back. Why? Uh, because just the lifestyle of staying uh, homeless right now? Yeah. That type shit, huh? Yeah. I'm but do you I'm want anything better for yourself so you don't have to uh, continue to come back? You ever plan on not being a frontline soldier? Sometimes being a general or, you know? Hacking, you know? Just, just hacking fucking bars I got. Okay. What do you mean hacking yeah. bars? I don't understand. You gotta know. <laughs> yeah, I gotta know, huh? Yeah. <laughs> that type shit. I don't know. Being a frontline soldier and stuff, though, yeah. you you use uh but performance enhancing. No so I keep, I ain't got no wind, so I, like, you know, yeah. I can't, I can't I'm saying, you say you're a frontline soldier, or you use performance enhancing drugs or so. You know what I'm saying? Do you use? I'm 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 down to do steroids. Um, no, I, you know what I'm talking about. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about do you use like recreational about, like, drugs? You, you know what I'm saying? You got to know if you know what I'm talking about. Like, no, I'm just I'm trying to kick this. I'm trying to kick this alcoholism right now. Yeah, it's been a alcohol has been a problem for you. Man, mm. like that, yeah. Do you want help for your uh, your uh, alcohol problem? No, when I when I once I hack my boys, everything's gonna get better. You know? How so? I'm gonna be able to think straight, you know. Yeah. Be able to behave, you know. Yeah. Then I'm gonna like once that's over, 
come home and box. We make it in the ring. You boxed before when you came up? Mm -hmm. You boxed when you came up? You came up boxing? What do you mean? You said you said get back in the ring, boxing. Yeah. You really box? Yeah, I'm still an amateur, but like I trained for two years. Yeah. You ever have any comp uh, comp uh, comp uh, comp competition? Yeah. I, I'm boxing. My first fight was at the Spotlight Spotlight 29 Casino. Yeah, what, how long ago was this? This was back when I was a kid, though. I was like 15. Maybe. Yeah. So where did your life change, uh, like take a turn from going to boxing and stuff, doing that to coming to the county jail, gang banging and stuff? Just got like. introduced to the gang. Got an ounce and blew up. <laughs> yeah. But like this can't be blowing up if we keep us coming back and forth to the county jail, right? Nah, well, I would. Mean, it was good probably then, right? Oh, shit, jail. I love you. Well, I don't like you know I love the all lifestyle, I love, I love the mentality. The homies and all that, huh? You yeah. mean the mentality? You love the the yeah. lifestyle. Like you know how the how the bone thugs say, "Fucking, you come from the the belly of the beast." You know? Yeah. And then my I got half black cousins from Insane Crip, so it's like nothing but love, you know? Yeah. For sure, I, I feel that. Man, that's what I'm you know? Yeah, man. Love one. Yeah, man. Uh, what, so what's your plans? Where are you going from here? Like, when you leave from here now, since you just picked up your stuff? I don't know. Try to go find someone to drink shower. When I was, I was drunk and passed out, I was, like, tired and I was lost so I was like, how the fuck did I get lost? <laughs> yeah. And I, like, I passed. There was, like, like, some trees and shit, right? Yeah. And I was like, man, this is, like, ghetto shit, right? Like, I was so fucking tired, you know, like, fuck it. I went, I went inside those trees and laid down and went to sleep, you know? Yeah, that must be kind of hard for you having to uh, find a place to stay, you know, and all that, just being out of the county jail for about a month now. And, and, and being on probation and parole, uh, how is that without having an address, though, too? Are they trying to violate you for not having an address? Nah, he said, like, he said I could get off of uh, parole, like, in a year. I get my shit right, but I'm not gonna get my shit right. It's, it's, a like, yeah. it's a conscious choice not to get your stuff right, right? Not with you know, marriage to the game, you know? Yeah, but you know, with a marriage, they got a chance of getting a divorce. You, do you want to do something different with yourself? I love y'all too much, man. <laughs> but you gotta love yourself, and that's the whole difference and stuff. When you when you start to love yourself, then it'll change. I'm here, my mind. Why don't you care about yourself? At a point you did. Okay, um, How'd you get these scars on your know. face? I got down on the way over here. On the way here? Me and the home, me and some Well, they look kind of fresh, like, like how, how, yeah, how? Yeah, it was like how, a couple days ago. Like, a couple of days ago? Well, like, me and, me and some dude, like, we got into it on the train. I don't know how the fuck we got into it. And fucking, you know, what? Hit the cut in. The train coming from where? Coming like from around here? Or from Long Beach coming yeah. down here? And well, I was like, what? Hit the train? You know what I mean? All right, we got off the train. And I'm like, it was, it was like the fucking, we got down in the middle of a parking lot. It was like, so what did he hit you with? Yeah, like, really? that's his hands or? Yeah. Yeah, it's like scratches. Yeah. Jumping. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, man. It was, but <laughs> like, I was like, I kept getting dropped and he, he kept letting me back up. Like, you know, like gangsters. Yeah. And then, um, but the. Uh, the fucking security guard that you're gonna break it up and I'm like, who's going? Is that the train station or on the train? No, we got off the train and then we got down there. At what station? Huh? Where at? What station? I don't even remember. <laughs> you don't even remember? Yeah. Just somewhere on the blue line, huh? Yeah. Like, <laughs> they didn't call the police or nothing there? Nah. You could have went back to the county jail with just that incident. Yeah. If they would have called there. Do you think about that? Nah, well, if you stand up, you get action. You know, like. Yeah? What do you mean? Like, if you stand up, you get action. I learned that in prison, but um, like I'm talking about if you would have got you know, like for like the fight, the, like the wood I was looking on the yeah. way, you know, like, like I, yeah, I feel that. Like uh, sometimes, they, yeah, sometimes they let it happen if they know you a real gangster, if they if they respect it, if it's just a fight. You mean? Yeah, but like you know, like it's like just like just don't let us catch you. <laughs> you know, yeah, like, yeah. Maybe they can know what's happening, but just don't let them see it type shit. Yeah, they like that shit anyway. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. Yeah. What's your experience with the cops? Like on the streets? Like um, I went where I learned how to box. I boxed at the pal. 
Okay, so, so the, the police said Lady League. Yeah. I mean, I Which one? Kid. In Long Beach. Okay. Ninth Street. Okay. And um uh, as long as they pulled me over, they tried to fuck with me like They like, know you some like, of them. Like, man, I, I, I bought shit to power, you know like, come on, you know like, I mean, or like give me a break, you know like what? And then I tried to join the Marines, all like I didn't, like I don't know how many I lost count how many times I went to the recruiter's office. So what happened there? They just shut you down or? Yeah, well because they had, to, they had to sign a waiver, or they had to do a waiver for uh, for uh, possession of a weapon on campus, my first felony. And uh, then, uh, but I also had uh, possession of marijuana. How old were you at that uh, at that time, when you got those possessions? 17. 17? Yeah, I didn't even get into my hood until I was 23, because I needed help getting my shit right. I mean, I only get into help. So at 23, you joined your hood to get your shit right? Yeah, hey, I couldn't get into the Marine. Right. Well, like, well, yeah, I, I can see where you're getting pushed away from anything positive you're trying to do, and then you go into something that looks more positive, some kind of organization or group that accepts you for who you are and doesn't give you those uh, kind of blocks because of certain situations in life, right? Yeah, the homies accepted you. They just pulled you in, yeah. Yeah, because I got big brothers from the hood, and they're like, oh, I need help. I'm getting my, yeah. my, my big brothers go best in peace. Yeah, but what kind of things could they teach you, you know, like, to help you? Just, like, fucking punch me in the mouth whenever I need it, you know, like... Why would you feel like you needed that? Well, you know, sometimes you be acting, you know, nobody like, nobody like, you know, like, misbehaving and shit, yeah. it's like... So is that what you wanted to go to the Marines for, to get some help with your behavior and stuff? You know, you I, wanted, I, wanted, discipline? I wanted to do that for my daddy. I promised him when I was a kid that I was good in the Marines, good in the smoke. I would go to the Marines. I ended up drinking, I ended up smoking, I couldn't get into the Marines. Man, it's a bitch. So, I lost, like I said, I lost count of how many times I, I went to the recruiter's office, you know, man. Last time, I was like, man, fuck you. I'm giving up. I give up. But, um, oh, while y'all got it on point, I'm just saying, man, like, you know, like, man, like, you know, 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 like, Swan, Swan, Uncle Swan. Okay. Uh, uh, yo, I was in the shower. Where and was that at? What prison? Uh, High Desert Four Yard, C C Upper. Okay. GPs. And um, uh, it was cool shit. He was in. He was, I was trying to make lightning, but I was already getting released. You know what I mean? Like, man, don't worry about it. And he was trying to make some white lightning, the alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, cause I was trying to hustle it. Yeah. And, um, but uh. How long did you do at that time? Only did two, two, only did two, two years. Yeah, you say only, but you know that's a long time though. Still, nah, that's just that's called a turnaround. That ain't even yeah. considered a turnaround. Yeah, no, but I'm saying in reality, in real life, not in prison terms, not in like street. Like I know the lifestyle, like how we live. Like two years is like okay, I could do it. If you if you live in a criminal lifestyle, you take a risk. Two years is minor because they're giving people life. But I'm talking about two minutes is a lot when your freedom is taken from you. You know, like. When you first got arrested, how did you feel? Like when? Do you do you, do you remember? <laughs> yeah. Do you remember? How the fuck did I let them catch me? <laughs> do you remember the fear like of running from them? Huh? Do you do you ever remember like the fear of running from the police? Are you having a fear? Nice nah, fun. Or a feeling? It's, it's a feeling of adrenaline. It's that that fucking that fucking uh that that Floyd shit. That's what I worry about. You know, like George I worry Floyd about shit. What, I worry about this. Like them fucking accidentally shooting me. Like I thought he was strapped. I thought he was armed or something. You know, like. So like whenever they, whenever they like whenever they even fucking look at me sideways, you know, like as soon as they pull up, like, okay, all right, man. My hands on my head, you know. Yeah. And that's that, why like like I do my best. Like I, I don't I, I don't even like like resist at all, you know, like. Yeah. They killed a white boy in a, uh, the who I killed a white boy in prison the same way they killed Floyd. Where at? In what prison? Before Floyd. In what prison? Wasco reception. Yeah. I was in, it was in D4. How long ago? 2018. 2018? Yeah. Wow, so they choked a, a white guy out and. Dude, the they, they, had his, they had his knee on, their saw knee it? on his neck. You I saw know. it? Nah, but the homie did, and I, I, I just like, I had an idea about helping, and everybody was talking about it. Like, hey, man, they really he, he, he was telling them he couldn't breathe, but he was like, they were like, but he was still like talking shit. Like, fuck you anyway. 
Yeah. Yeah. Sure enough, them fuckers died. That must suck, and that, that and he was white. <laughs> yeah, that must suck, and that's that's a, a real reason to stay out of prison because you know that you can't or in the county jail because you can't go where you want to go, and you're always subjected to their will, and like you say, you have a fear of them hurting you. So, um, with that, man. Um, no, I have a like like being misunderstood. You know, like yeah, like all that when when they when they pull me over, like they talk to me, and I'll be like, you know, I went to the pile and shit. They're over here, like trying to see if I'm up to no good, but it's like I ain't up to no. You know, like, yeah, they might think you're somebody else or doing something else that you're yeah, not doing. You know, I get you. Up to no good and shit. Yeah, like, I, I feel I ain't, you. I, ain't shit, you know, I feel like, you. I used to, like, when I was a kid, I used to give them a hard time and shit, you know, like, when I was a kid, I used to, uh, what is it, like, I used to be the knucklehead, talk shit, like, fuck the whole thing, but, yeah. I, like, grew up, matured, like, you know, like, so I just, like, you know, in prison, they teach you, yeah, you know, for sure, I understand that, you, uh, you, so, you let me, uh, respect, we'll give you like, it's the same way yeah, I don't want to cut you off, but we got to wrap up right now. Can I get you to look into the county and say your name and I'm straight out of the county? And, you know. Oh, I'm KP from the East Slovenian Project, straight out the county. That's right. All right, KP, man. Nice to meet you, man. Have a good one. Oh, yeah, you too, bro. Yeah. Have a good one. You too. Have a good one. Hey guys, if you like today's content, make sure you donate to our Cash App. The information is below. Also, you can like, subscribe, or comment. Share with at least two friends. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next episode of Straight Outta County.